how to add up values in Excel using Wix as the criteria. Here I have a large data set with a bunch of different rows and information such as date, item, quantity, total, and order ID. So let's say I want to organize this data that I have and make a calculation based on the weeks, January 1st, January 8th, January 15th, and on and on and on, seven days apart from each other. And now I want to have here the total sold for each one of the weeks, or it doesn't need to be total sold or anything involving money. You can use completely different data because it's gonna work, okay? So let's take a look how can we create it in Excel step-by-step step from scratch. Let's go. The first thing that I need to have here in order to be able to add up values per week in Excel is to have a data set from this simple data that I have here with information such as date, item, quantity, total, and order ID. I will be able to add up those values based on the, the date, the weeks. So let's see. The first day of the week is January 1st of 2024, and I'm con considering here that uh, one week is equal to seven days, okay? So I want to add up all those values that are corresponding to the January 1st of 2024 and seven days after it. But uh, let's use here some blank cells to create this calculation. I want to start with, let's say, weeks, and then in the next column, I want to type in total, okay? And then, uh, Underneath here, the weeks, I can start with January 1st of 2024. That is my first week of my data. The second week is going to be equal sign, equal sign. Let's use a formula here to automate this weeks. Equal sign, the previous date, add it to 7, and then enter. And as you can see, one week after my first start point is January 8th of 2024. And if you, we take a look here in the calendar, we can see that it's, it's true. The first day of the week is January 1st of 2024, and then the second week is January 8th of 2024, and on and on. So let's continue to use this formula. I'm going to click in the bottom right corner of the cell, click hold and drag down to make sure I can create this formula for weeks for all the rows. Of, of course, I can continue to click hold and drag down the function to have more formulas, but I'm, I'm going to keep just with those, those rows. Let's increase a little bit the size of the, this column just to read off the, the arrow that we had. And then as the total, I want to make an addition of all those weeks. And uh, to do this addition, we can use the equal sign sum ifs function. Sum ifs function. The sum function in Excel can add up values that you selected in a range. The sum if function can add up not all those values that you selected, but just the values that match with a certain criteria. But uh, with, uh, if we use here the sum ifs with this s in the suffix, we can add up values with multiple criteria, So we can use here one, two, three, four different criteria or more. Let me double click here, one, two, to select this function. And then as the sum range, I want to add up the values that I have in the column E. So I can either select a small range like this, or just click over the letter E to select the entire column. Choma, my first criteria range is gonna be the date, or all my criteria, are going to be in the date because it's the date, the only thing that I want to use as criteria, the date, the weeks. So I just select the column B, the entire column B. And then, comma, my first criteria is going to be I want to add up the values that uh, it starts in the January 1st of 2024. But how can I input here this information using a, let's say, formula esque way? I can do the following thing open quotations, and then I want to add up the values that are greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to, close quotations, the date that I have here. But uh, before we select the date, it's very important to use here the percent to append that date with my criteria, my logical operator, that is greater than or equal to, percent this date right here. Okay, so everything now that is equal to uh, or greater than my date is going to be added up together. Comma. My second criteria is going to be first, let's select here the argument that is stand for the criteria range. That is going to be again the date, like this, okay? Uh, comma. My second criteria is I want to use here as the threshold, the limit, the underneath date or the next week, January 8th of 2024, and then January 15th of 2024, and on and on and on. So I can use the date that I have underneath the date that I have to the left to be my threshold, to be my limit. So open quotations, the threshold is going to be less than close quotations here. I don't need to use the equal sign because if I use here the equal sign, I'm telling in Excel to add up the values that correspond to January 8th of 2024. But I, this is not what I want to do. I just want to stop 
in the January 8. I don't want to include January 8 in my calculation here. So this is why I'm not going to use the equal sign, just the less than sign. Less than, open quotations, less than, close quotations, and then percent to append the next part of the formula that is the date that I have here underneath, like this. And then I can close parentheses and press enter. Here we got the correct result, $2,661. Uh, let me change the format and use a currency one, home tab, and then I can click here in the dollar sign, the currency mode. Okay, if I click hold and drag down in the bottom right corner of the cell, I can make sure I can spill out or spill down this formula here in Excel. And now let's take a manually look here to see if everything is correct. I want to take the first week and uh, the result is $2,661.34. Let's see if it's correct. Uh, fortunately, all those dates are organized in an alphabetical way or oldest to the newest. So it's easier to see if everything is correct here. But it doesn't matter the, the order, let's say. If you have January 1st in the ending of the, the data, and then you have February in the beginning, and then let's say December in the middle of the, the data, it doesn't matter, okay? Because it's gonna work in the same way. It doesn't matter the order, the sort, the way the data is being sorted. Uh, here, January 1st, until here, January 7th. If I take all those values, I need to have the same result that I have here. So let's highlight those values with a yellowish color, okay? So now let me use here. I equal sign some function, double click here, one, two, to select. I want to add up all those values here within this yellowish color. And then let me press enter. As you can see, I'm going to have the exactly same result. So this is indicate to me that is correct. The math that we did here is perfectly correct. So this is how we can add up values per week in Excel, step by step from scratch using the sum ifs function. And if you also want to learn how can you add up values per month, I'm going to leave a free video in the description down below like this one that you watch it here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below and I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.